Update 13 is on the way. Hello everybody, Big Planes here, and today I've got a huge update on the Saturn V and its launch tower. As you can see, the base is completed. Now I can actually pretty happily say that the base is done, and this is a huge step forward in the design and build of the Saturn V rocket. And one thing that you may notice is that it is absolutely huge. This thing is about 3 feet by 4 feet, so it is ginormous. It's going to take up my entire table space over there down on the floor. It's just huge. And if you're wondering about the height of it, yes, I did finally um, finalize the height of it. It's going to be about 6 inches tall, and this is exactly what it's going to look like. And I really, really like how those panels turned out. Those are panels along with um, the bricks, the one by bricks going down the center of them. Those worked out really, really well to give it that sort of graded metal look. And when it comes to actually tiling it, I'm really happy that these larger gray tiles worked really well. I was sort of concerned that they would look too dull and would be a little flimsy, but they actually worked really well. So I really think that gave it that metal look that we were really going for with the Saturn V's base. And this is something that's going to be huge when it comes to the final build of this thing. And as you can see, the rocket has been set in the place where it's going to go, right here. Now, this isn't finalized yet. As you can see, these little things right here are not doing anything. They're not really connected. And it's sort of just sitting in there on a base plate right now. But once we sort of move past the just the structure of the base and building the base, and when I start to add more of the details to it, these little things right here will actually be stabilizing the rocket so it doesn't want to tip over. Because that's very important. When I take this thing to conventions, it cannot tip over. So that's definitely that. And I gave this little minifigure here just for scale. It's just so you can understand just how absolutely ginormous the Saturn V rocket really is. And yeah, so another thing that is really noticeable about this rocket is just sort of how tall it's going to be. And I'm really pushing the limits on how tall I can make it because I have a nine foot ceiling, right? And right now this thing was about five inches from hitting that nine foot ceiling. And since it's five inches from hitting it, I don't have much room to work with when I'm building. So I just added about two more inches. Those engine bells are about two inches from touching the ground. So we just lost two inches. So now I only have three inches of ceiling clearance and I need to leave at least two Two inches so I could get the launch escape tower on and off so yeah we're cutting it really close now for conventions there'll probably be more sort of height to this thing because the usually the ceilings are a little larger in conventions so that's where that one's sort of gonna go and as I showed you in the last update I realized that this thing is going to be way too big for me to carry in one sitting so what I actually did is right here I don't know if you can see it but these do come apart so if you wanted to transport it like that you could have the tower part which is right here which will be more modular than it is right now the sections will be coming apart and you have the base part that actually holds the rocket and this was something that I found that was really going to be necessary because this thing weighs a lot even though it is hollow it does weigh a lot so that's something that just had to be done now I didn't want to originally do that because it had the chance of being a mobile launch tower but it's not going to be mobile it's just going to sit on the ground so that's generally where that's going to go and about the sort of space that we have around the rocket here that is not completed either there will be all sorts of little carts and little sort of details and mini fairs that will be set out here when it's done all sorts of little things that are just going to be awesome and really just add the extra detail to it there is about 32 or no no there's about 10 inches right here or 32 studs and there's about i'm going to say uh 24 studs over here so it's about proportional to where it should be and when it comes to the space that the rocket's in that is about um let's see here i think that's about over a foot around a foot yeah so that's about a foot right there where the rocket is and that is something that i had to calculate and measure out so that's definitely something that i'm very happy with so yeah it's sort of what we've come along on this time it's getting really exciting we have a lot of the parts over here that are going to be needed to build the tower itself we've got the fences these are really hard to track down but i'm really glad that i did them we've got about a thousand of them here these are the little grill pieces that'll add the extra detail we've got some more sort of slopes and hinges here we've got the big box of bricks we've got some round bricks back there we've got some more round bricks over here we had some leftover panels from building the base so that'll be fun so yeah this is really accelerating awfully fast and this should be done really soon here so that's all i've really got for this update 
The next one should be a little over a week since we're still waiting for parts. Never know, could be sooner. And that will be the construction or the beginning of the construction of the tower itself, that big red thing. So as always, please be sure to help me out. Give me a like, subscribe to this channel so you can keep up with how this build's going. And as always, bye for now.